is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The, awesome. I know the quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling and uh, growling with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, great week. It's a no great month. Oh, my God, it's November 1st. You're going to love it. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your love. In every kiss, in every touch, you feel you're there, to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 57, NASDAQ up 42, SP's flat, gold contract up $9.30, traded at $17.93 an ounce. We got silver up 11 cents, $24.06 an ounce, light sweet crude up 48 cents, $84. Notes and bonds. The 10 year down three ticks, trading 130.19. The 30 year off 18 at 160.09. And King Dollar. King Dollar's up by 222 ticks, trading 93.900. Euro is 116. Yen is at 114. The British pound's at 136 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, you get a sideways market out here, folks. And I expect you're going to see a sideways market right up until Wednesday. So the Fed starts meeting tomorrow. We'll have a statement at 2 o'clock Wednesday with a news conference at 2.30 Wednesday. The SPY out here, bottom line, closed at all-time highs on Friday. Uh, you're, you're, well, you're, you're flat. You're, the SPY is trading uh, down uh, two, two cents right now. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. They all closed at uh, all-time highs except the Dow, and the Dow uh, basically uh, has already hit an all-time high out here today. The NDX 100, the three Qs, that also hit an, an all-time high. Uh, we are at uh, 385 right now, and uh, we closed at uh, 386.11 on uh, Friday. And the Dow Industrials, I believe this finally hit another all-time high today. Yeah, it did, big time. Now, the Dow got all the way up to the uh, 36,009 mark today and then decided to give it up. So this is going to get really interesting. And what you have here inside the Dow Industrials, by the way, folks, is this. You have two separate, basically, bearish occurrences. You, you had the first one that was on the 26th. That's when it couldn't hold price. Then you come down in volume. Bottom line, you get higher today, and it's, not, it's giving up on price again. So... That, if we go look at the diamonds, it will be a little bit clearer when you're looking at the diamonds because the volume will be underneath it. What you're going to be able to see is that on the 26th, you hit a high, uh, 358.93. Oh, one second. Yeah, 358.93. You did that with 3.1 million. Then you come down with 3.5. Now we're making a new high with 2.1 and let's see, 358. Yeah, it looks like you're going to have a failure in price and volume. Uh, inside of the, well, here, let's go to the gold contract first. Gold. Gold contract out here is trading at a price point of 1793. Gold came down hard and fast on Friday, big time. Uh, that being said, guess what? You didn't break a lower swing point. When you don't break a lower swing point, folks, the bottom line is that it's not bearish. Um, volume. Came out of it, no doubt about that. But what was happening is that you're also going into 290,000. You're going into its strength. And we came down with uh, 225, 255 rather. 
Bottom line, that's still saying he wants higher price. The divergence that we have out here is pretty cool. And what the divergence was, was this. As gold got smacked, silver didn't, which is just so unusual, man. It just, just normally just doesn't happen. I mean, silver came down, but no big deal. I mean, silver got down to a price point of 2370, closed at 2399, still wants higher price. Um, and what you do have out here is that when I was doing the gold report over the weekend, the silver equities are actually stronger than the gold equities. So this is going to get pretty wild watching how this thing is going to shake out. Now, let's go take a look at King Dollar because King Dollar had an amazing day on Friday as gold went down. King Dollar was up over a thousand ticks. Now, that being said, <laughs> what, what has happened? Let me show, make sure. Yeah. What has happened is that King Dollar, so I was talking about swing points in general, and gold on the way down came down hard and fast, but yet couldn't take a swing point out. The dollar goes topside and couldn't take a swing up point out. It's like, okay, man. So that is not a bullish occurrence at this particular point. Right now, we're at 93,901, so we're still fighting about 93,729. And what I expect we're going to see is that we are going to see when the Fed comes out that that is when we're going to have monster movements. My take right now is that the dollar will go higher, that the metals are going to go, uh, the dollar is going to go lower, the metals are going to go higher. Uh, now, what's also happened out here is this. The market, and I've been trying to figure this out for a while, man. The bottom line, which is really so unusual, the market actually likes a stronger dollar and doesn't like a weaker dollar. So this is going to be so weird, man, because each, I mean, that is just kind of the opposite of normally how it's been shaken out. But this baby um, has, the dollar's been going up for a long time, as has the market. And it seems like each and every time that the dollar does not catch a bid, uh, what you have here is that the market goes south simultaneously too. Platinum, let's go take a look at the platinum market out here. The active contract right now, that's trading up $47.00. You're at 1,067, and this has strength behind it. This is more, oh, and this is what I wanted to tell you about the gold market. The XAU, the HUI, they all very well are setting up monster ABC structures on the way up. Um, oh, this is nice platinum. Platinum is doing the same thing. So platinum's coming into a swing point with 18,000 contracts. You've done 16,000 so far. Hasn't hit the, the swing point yet, which is 1,080. I expect it will go after it. If it takes the swing point out with volume, you're talking, let's see, what do we got here? 940, you get 140 A to B. So you're talking about uh, 1,140 bucks. And right now, you're 1067. If we go take a look at the XAU and the HUI, you're going to see that both of these also very well could be uh, some nice ABC structures on the way up. And if they are, they're, they're really large ones. We'll see how it, it shakes out and we'll see. Do when the Fed comes out, you know, bottom line, uh, are they still going to be dovish? And I suspect they're going to be. The thing that's so weird, man, inflation's raging, man. I mean, it, there's no doubt it's raging. And we'll see how they're going to try to back away from it, saying that uh, it's, it's still transitory. Dow Industrials right now up 53, NASDAQ is up 46, S&P up 1, stay right there, folks, come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 47. We get the NASDAQ up 40. Oh, uh, Dow's up 47. NASDAQ's up 47. S&P's are flat. Let's go to Early in uh, Tampa, Florida. Early, what's going on? Uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing wonderful. Cool. Um, great day. The weather's beautiful. It Can't is. It. it is, man. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm struggling uh, with... The so bonds, not bonds, uh, the dollar, the dollar comes down, bonds do something, financials do something. I keep getting trapped. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what I'm missing, if you could explain it. I, oh, I'm trying to, so what part do you want explained? <laughs> I think we're, we're, the dollar has been fighting over this um, 93,729 area for quite some time. And the and what that is, when it gets below it, that's in the lower range and it wants the lower price. When it gets above it, it's like, okay, man, you want higher price, you know? So, yeah. So the yields to the bonds, how does that affect financial? Okay, so the this like is how this. I got it. I got. I got what your question is here. So okay. the yields on the bonds. Okay. Yeah. Let's br let's bring it up right now. So first, I'm going to bring up the ten year for you. Okay, and. What has happened is that, you know, you, you have the bond market itself. We have gone, it, it's been a one-way move since uh, August 20, August 4th, rather. So what has happened there is that it's gone into lower price, higher yield. That being said, though, <laughs> we went right to the bottom. Of the, like, we were trading, bonds are trading the exact same price May 20th as they are now. May 20th, they were laying out at 157. They go all the way up to 117 on um, August 4th, and then back to 1.57. Um, you know, so, I mean, it looks to me like bonds still want higher price. Now, wait to hear this. This is pretty wild, folks, okay? So technically, to me, they want higher price early, right? Fundamentally, what's going to happen is this. So this is, this is just a mind blower, actually. So the Fed has already told us, starting in November, they plan on buying less than, I believe they're going to taper at about $15 billion a month of them buying bonds. Okay, they're buying $80 billion right now. They're going to buy less every month, and then it's going to be over. They're not going to be buying any bonds in about seven or eight months, okay? Now, what's also happening is this. 
is that the federal government is going to be issuing, so picture, the Federal Reserve is going to be buying back approximately 96 billion in bonds. No, 960 billion. Are uh, they not going to be buying 960 billion in bonds? But check this out. The Treasury is not going to be issuing a trillion dollars in bonds. You get that right, folks. A trillion dollars in bonds because they don't need it. So, you know, I read this article on last Thursday. I'm saying to myself, this is amazing, man. So what's going to happen is that the supply-demand equation is not going to change. And there's still plenty of people that are going to buy bonds. And maybe that's why bonds are still going to go higher. You know, I mean, if that's, okay. if that's what happens. Now it's making sense. They're in the middle of it. They're in the middle of it. And, and by, well, just as I, I just said to you, there's other, the Treasury's not going to be issuing them. And there's so many people that need bonds, okay? And they need bonds because of, the, of how the balance sheets are, whether it's trust funds, whether it's anyone that has liabilities going out to the future. And there's plenty of monster companies that have liabilities. And then, and that's not even counting, what I, I brought this up last week, folks, and this, this, is, this is a head scratcher too, but, but watch this. this. This is really cool to, to understand how this works too. There's so much money in the system now, and there's so many people that have saved so much money that we, picture as we put money in the banks, right? What, it, what happened is that when the 2007 crash came, the financial regulations that went into place make banks have more, they have to, ha have to hold more 30-year bonds, long money, so that what ends up happening is that the banks got caught shot last time because everything they had was basically shot and it, well, we know what happened. I mean, everyone was broke, that's the bottom line. So now what's going on also is that the more money that we all put money in the banks, is that the, the banks themselves have to buy 30-year bonds. <laughs> so, you know, it seems to me that the demand is still there in a big way. It, it's pretty amazing, though, not though, that that's how, you know, that's where the demand comes from. So we'll see where this shakes out uh, Wednesday, man. All right. Well, thank you so much. Hey, Appreciate listen, everything you do. Do you ever listen to, do you, do you like blues? I do like blues. Oh, you, so have you ever heard of this guy, Early Times? Um, no? Okay. I don't know. That's not familiar. I'm from Western Mass. I don't know. Are they from around? It's, it's just so cool, man, because I was looking at your name, and I'm saying to say, he, so he's, he's, a, he's a blues guy, but he's on XM Satellite on the blues station, man. It's just really cool, man. <laughs> no. I know. Isn't that funny? I'll check it out. I know. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. You too. Appreciate Thanks. it. Oh, okay. So the note and bond market, folks, it's pretty wild. There's no doubt about that, meaning that the demand versus the supply and how this whole thing's going to shake out. Um, we'll see. Uh, some of the higher volume equities out here today. And we're taking a look at this market. Let's see what we have. You have Ford. Look at that. Ford caught a bid Friday. It's catching another bid up 74 cents for $17 stock. It's a big number. You get Apple down 93 cents. You get, uh, let's see, Tesla. Look at this. Look at Tesla. Tesla's up $70. And uh, that's at 11.86 right now. You got uh, AMC up $1.56. Uh, Meta Platforms is up, uh, oh my God, this is so funny. Uh, that's Facebook, of course, it's up 655. Um, you know, if we go to Tesla for a second and take a look at Tesla, uh, Tesla's trading 1186. And this little baby here, I mean, this has been a one way deal. Picture this, and let's see, one, two, three. in six days, just in six days, it's gone from 855 um, up until the 1193. And I'm sure many of you heard by now, uh, you get Elon Musk uh, and the uh, head of, uh, let's see, here it is right here. This, this, is, this is really a trip, man. And this just goes to show that, so Elon Musk, the head says he'll sell Tesla stock to solve, stop that, to solve world hunger if the UN shows how money is spent. He's so right, man. The, the, the head of um, the World Food Bank at the UN 
was pushing that if he had six billion dollars, folks, okay, he could save 42 million lives. And, you know, the bottom line is that Musk basically called him out on it. Says, okay, man, you will. He was calling out Musk as well as Jeff Bezos. Musk said, hey, man, okay, you show me on this Twitter feed right now how you can do this. Be happy to give you $6 billion. The bottom line is that you can see the BS that gets involved. Um, you know, if, if $6 billion, folks, could save uh, 48 uh, million people, guess what? Um, plenty of people would be writing a check. The bottom line is, is that, uh, you know, let's see, to be fair, the head of World Bank came back and said, we have to show you. Yeah, well, guess what? That's not, that's not the same thing as saying they're going to fix it. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 58. You got the Nasdaq up. Uh, Dow's up 44. Nasdaq's up 58. S&Ps are up two. Let's go inside the NDX 100 and take a look at the strength versus the weakness. Strength out here is Tesla, man. This is crazy. Tesla's up 6.5%. Uh, you got Align Technology up 6%. Uh, JD.com's up 4.8%. NetEase is up 4.7%. Taken away from it. CrowdStrike is down 4.7%. You get Intuit off two, Intuitive Software off 2.8%. And Google is off 2.8%. What's going on with Google here? And if you saw the... Uh, yeah, it's just pulling back. If you saw the... Uh, article out here folks on uh, Disney the Shanghai Disney it's pretty wild I mean what happened out here I guess it's either Friday or over the weekend 
the bottom line is that they locked down Disney in Shanghai. 36,000 people. So picture this. They locked it down. Didn't even let the people in the well. Let's go through the story. Locked it down. In comes teams of people in hazmat suits. The bottom line is they tested everyone in the park. 36,000 people. There wasn't one person that was positive. And they're trying to track down this one person that came from, uh, I think, Singapore into, uh, into Shanghai. Uh, bottom line is that pff, it's pretty amazing when you actually think about it. It's like, you know, lock them down and uh, not one person. It's pretty impressive that not one person was uh, positive. And then they have to stay home for, I don't know, two or three days and get tested again. So pretty wild. So let's go through the XAU and the HUI as to where these ABC structures might be. Now, I'll bring the XAU up first because they're, they're decent ABC structures. So you got 138 as your B, your A is like 116. So we're talking about 16, 26, 36, um, 22 points. The low today would be a C point, which you then get you at uh, 48, 148. Right now you're at 130. Now what's going to be important about this is that if we get that what you're going to see in both the XAU and the HUI is that they're actually going to bust the, consoli the consolidation, the top of the consolidation. The top of the consolidation inside of the XAU is 146. If you go to the Gold Bugs Index, uh, this is also a monster ABC structure on the way up. If you go to the Gold Bugs Index, the top of the consolidation is out here at the 275 to 277 area. And this is a monster also. You get the B point out here is laying at 267. The A point is uh, uh, 224, so we got what? That's uh, 25, 35, 42, which is going to get you to 80, 42, 42, 88. 88? Yeah, 88. And yeah, 81 is the top of this consolidation. Um, so I expect what we're going to see uh, when the... Fed does announce what, what they're going to do. It's going to be so intriguing, man, because, you know, oh, here, let, let's look at this. So if, if, you know, Tommy was talking about this on a show this morning, and this is Deer. So Deer, folks, okay, they got a deal in place, okay? Um, their, their folks went on strike. Their, 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 their employees went on strike. Let's see. Let me... Let's just see this for a second. Because this, okay, so here, check this out. This is what it is. This, this, <laughs> my take, folks, is that we're running inflation about 23 to 30%. And when you do these numbers, what you're going to see here is this. Watch as this goes. First, the employees are going to get a uh, $8,500 $8, bonus. They're going to get a 10% raise the first year. They're going to get a 5% raise on the year 2023 and 2025. But they're also going to get a 3% or it's 2%. On the even years, they're getting, one second, one second. The bottom line is that I did, I did this math on Friday when this thing was coming out. Uh, within a five-year deal, this thing is way over, um, just a flat out 10 percent you know i don't know what the normal pay is but the bonus right off the bat of eight thousand five hundred is the beauty then you get the 10 percent oh there it is here okay workers receive them there's one more deal that they have in here but bottom line i expect you're going to see more of it because the bottom line is that what has happened is that uh <laughs> some of these prices uh, have gone astronomical and you know some a company like deer you can just picture that they're just going to throw that number um, on. Well, <laughs> now they, they, their expense ratio is going to go up pretty dramatic. And it's going to be interesting to see what the Fed says about it, because what's going to happen inside, inside of that uh, press conference at 2.30, I suspect someone is going to ask that flat-out question, and they'll have the numbers right in front of them as to... Um, the deer and the payroll because what happens with inflation is this folks when inflation goes into the payroll then that's the last place that it goes and that's when it accelerates in a huge way um and you know we'll see uh how the genie gets back inside the bottle 
But right now, I would say that Genie is outside the bottle in a huge way. Let's go to uh, Amazon. We take a look at Amazon out here. Amazon right now is trading down 58. So you came down. We came down hard on Friday, but now it's just, that's, that's soft, man. Yeah. So that's, you know, my take is that somehow this thing's going to still make it down at this 27 to 3,000 area, um, the lower end of this consolidation. You know, four weeks ago, we made it to 3,176. We'll see if uh, we can get down into that level again. Now, let's go M-E-T-A. So is it Meta? No, M-E-T. Oh, I see. Oh, look, they haven't changed the symbol yet. Okay, so it's still FB. They're changing the symbol, too. I thought they were changing the symbol today. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay, so right now you have uh, the low for the year in Facebook is 244. The high is 389. We are trading at 324, 329 rather. Yeah, and this is still wants lower price. This is... You're into the gap on the way down. You get a big contraction of volume. This still wants lower price. Um, the new business that he's going to put a few, huge amount of money in, there's no doubt. If you thought Facebook was uh, intrusive, oh, that's nothing compared to the metaverse. Um, it's, yeah, it's all you know, all you have to do, folks, to take over the world, just get off Facebook. Just get off social media. Uh, you'd be amazed on uh, how much more time you have. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I suspect these tech guys, they're going to be having a field day. They're going to be saying, just throw out to all, all the people all these things they can go out. We'll just keep going, creating things. And if you wonder why there's inequity in the world, that's going to be one of the largest ones, no doubt. Between people just staying on phones, not realizing what's going on right around them. Okay, literally right around them. You know, it's, it's bizarre. There's no doubt about that. Dow Industrials right now up 46. You get the Nasdaq up 66. S&Ps are up three. Uh, gold's uh, hanging in there, up 390. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, trading up 52. We get the NASDAQ up 65. S&Ps are up three. Our guest today, folks, is Kelly Flannery. Kelly is the president and CEO of South Tampa Chamber of Commerce. You check this out. South Tampa uh, Chamber of Commerce has been around 95 years, and there's not much that's been around 95 years in Florida, folks. Um, this is an association that has more than 650 business organizations making the South Tampa community a better place to live, work, and play. Kelly, wake, welcome to TFNN. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. I'll tell you, I'm on and her, her, the website, folks. Okay, for the uh, chamber for the South Tampa Chamber of Commerce is SouthTampaChamber.org, and when you pull it up, you're going to see celebrate 95 years. That's, I mean, I don't. What was around here 95 years ago? <laughs> so our chamber was originally founded as the Port Tampa Businessmen's Association in 1926. Nice. And so they participated heavily in the importing and exporting that was happening in Port Tampa Bay. And then eventually became the Port Tampa Chamber of Commerce after the inception of MacDill Air Force Base in the 40s and 50s. Okay. Eventually the South Gandhi Chamber of Commerce and then incorporated in the South, as the South Tampa Chamber of Commerce uh, to be able to provide opportunities for all of the businesses here on the South Tampa Peninsula in the 1980s. And so our organization does have quite the history uh, during its 95 year tenure. That's awesome. And you, when, you, you gotta go to this website folks, okay? Cause they have this big, beautiful sailboat there. It looks like the tall ships actually, which which were coming into the port. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great history, Kelly. So yes. Hip, tell us about what a chamber of commerce actually does you know <laughs> we, well we hear we hear many things and all we normally hear mm -hmm. is that the chamber is either for this or for that so tell us though you know down to you know the common man and woman on the street here what it does Absolutely. What One thing that's really unique about our region, the Tampa Bay region, and we look at multiple counties that incorporate that space, is that we actually have several dozen chambers of commerce. Okay. Uh, so here on the Hillsborough side, we have the Tampa Bay Chamber, South Tampa, Ebor, uh, Uptown Chamber. Uh, further out in Hillsborough County, we have Brandon and Riverview. Over in St. Pete, we have the St. Pete Chamber, as well as Amplify Clearwater uh, in Clearwater. Uh, so we're really fortunate that as a region, we have several really strong chambers of commerce that are um, not only only working on behalf of the community but working together so first I want to make sure everyone knows that we are separate organizations so each chamber kind of has its own governance structure and its own culture or personality within the membership uh, but essentially uh, one thing that we all have in common is we are a voluntary business association uh, for businesses or individuals and community leaders uh, to get together and work towards business success so we want to make sure that each of our individual areas as well as the region of Tampa Bay has a strong economic climate for both small and large businesses to succeed. Um, another misconception about chambers is that we're a networking organization or a marketing organization. And while those are our tools and benefits that many of us provide to our members, at the core of what we do, it's really advocating on behalf of businesses, but then also offering, offering additional opportunities for businesses to grow and succeed within our, in, within our area. Yeah, it's, it's nice that uh, as a business, you know, there's someone out there to basically navigate uh, a lot of these laws and regulations, right? I mean, because it, you know, someone just starting out or even someone in business for quite some time, um, you know, a couple of these politicians can throw a few things at us that can, uh, <laughs> well, it, sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not good. I mean, so you're, you're, 
you're an advocate in your particular case, you have 650 businesses. So let me ask you this. That's a lot of businesses to have in South Tampa. So there must be a real good reason why they're joining because it, 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 I mean, there's a dues associated with it, right? There is, there's an annual membership fee, uh, which includes a lot of great benefits that are included. And then they can also uh, choose to attend events or to upgrade for additional things like marketing and advertising, uh, for example, a banner ad on the website or things like that. But um, I, I think the main reason that most businesses join the chamber, I think there's two things. One is to connect. They want to connect to each other, yes. connect to other business owners or other business professionals. And then two, they want up, they were always looking for ways to promote their business, to help get the name out there and to help build credibility for their business within the community. So that's why chambers are popular for doing things like ribbon cuttings uh, and helping businesses when they're first starting out to really find ways to get their name out and recognition within the community. Nice. Now, what are the challenges you're finding in South Tampa or, you know, Hillsborough in general, maybe St. Pete, I'm sure you know the whole area. What are the challenges yes. that we have right now? Well, you know, right now we're still in this period of transition coming out of 2020 uh, and this time that was really difficult for a lot of businesses as they navigated something new, such as a global pandemic. Here in Florida, we're familiar with hurricanes and how to prepare for that and how to keep our businesses resilient in, this, in the sense of a, a impending weather event. But none of us really knew how to go into a global pandemic and how to get through that. And I think that was one of the things that our chamber really focused on was getting information and resources out to our businesses during that time. But many of them are still in a transitional period now, still trying to build capital, still trying to win back customers and consumers, and still trying to figure out what to do. As you said, things often change daily. Uh, and then navigating rules and uh, restrictions or executive orders from the local level and then the state level. Um, another challenge that we see that's impacting all of us, both locally and regionally, of course, is transportation. And that's one of the uh, areas that we've been able to participate from a regional perspective, working with our friends on the other side of the bridge in St. Pete and Clearwater on things like getting the Selman Extension Belt, which is that 1.4 mile roadway that now goes over Gandy Bridge or over Gandy Boulevard on our side of the bridge, but connects individuals that are coming over from Pinellas County uh, directly onto the Selman Expressway so that they can travel and get to downtown Tampa or other parts of Hillsborough County. And then most recently, really excited for the expansion of the Cross Bay Ferry as we continue to move people back and forth between our counties. And that's going to be extended into South Hillsborough County in the Riverview area in the next couple of years as well. And that's a fabulous job, by the way. What happens in Florida, folks, okay, we don't have, we need, still need a lot of help with transportation, um, in, you know, in a huge way. And I'm, I'm glad you're, you guys are involved in that. You know, sometimes it blows my mind, actually. You know, I've been here for 25 years, and I came out of Boston so that, you know, old cities have plenty of transportation. What is actually it's amazing that you guys have been for transportation for such a long time, but it's amazing that the politicians don't want to spend any money on transportation. It's like, I don't even get it. I mean, it's, it's like, where, how are you going to get around, right? It's like, okay. Well, the great thing with this Selman extension that was just recently um, completed just a few months ago is that there were no tax dollars used for that. It's a private entity and it's paid for through tolls um, and through other fundraising mechanisms that the Expressway Authority has in place. So it's a great regional benefit for everyone to enjoy, whether you're traveling from South Hillsborough County, downtown Tampa, through South Tampa, or over to St. Pete and Clearwater, and there were no tax dollars that were used for that project. That's impressive. That's impressive. Well, listen. It's been a great education. Really appreciate it. Hope to have you on again, Kelly. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Wonderful. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, transportation, folks, we need it in Florida in a monster way. We're getting there little by little, but uh, bottom line is that we definitely need it. Dow Industrials right now, it's going to be all green, folks, okay? As one of our um, uh, tigresses say out here, it's not a Friday. Uh, they, she jokes uh, many times, but all of us... Uh, talk about Fridays as a no-risk trade Friday, meaning that every Friday the market has to go up. Well, it looks like uh, we're at the same junction probably until uh, the Fed comes out. This is a sideways market out here. Stay right back. Stay right here, folks. We get the Dow up 70, Nasdaq's up 77, S&P's up 6. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in st petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 56. Nasdaq up 71. S&P's up three. And Zillow, folks. Okay, so check this out. Zillow. We know that uh, they stopped buying uh, houses. They are trying to sell 7,000 homes right now for 2.8 billion. Uh, and it, what it had the headlines here has uh, the way the headlines read it. Let's see. Uh, Zillow is looking to sell 7,000 homes as it seeks to recover from a fumble. It wasn't a fumble, folks. The bottom line is this. Okay, so check this out. So Zillow, when Zillow started this, right, I'm, my take on it right off the bat is that they were going to pay too much money for the properties, period. Okay, all these, these computer-generated deals, that's just how it works. Sure enough, I mean, my playground St. Pete. So bottom line, they're coming into St. Pete. They're buying, man. And they got a frenzy going beyond belief. And I'm looking, I'm saying to myself, I know this isn't going to end right because the per square foot kind of where the market was, okay, and where they wanted to bring it was, wasn't there. That being said, guess what? It's so cool being in the marketplace, okay, folks, because the bottom line is that I sold into that, not the Zillow in particular, but I sold over 120 lots, building lots, <laughs> Uh, at the frenzy, at the top of the frenzy. Uh, I don't think the, the, the market is, is crashed by any means. I'd even pull them back. But I knew at that particular point that it, the frenzy was just there. I mean, that people would pay anything. It was just amazing, actually. Now what's going on, and, and that's including the larger funds. So now what Zillow's saying is that they're going to try to sell these to larger funds. Two -third, I, I suspect they're going to lose money in every one of them. 
That's that's the real bottom line, you know, because guess what? They were crazy anyway. It, it doesn't even make any sense that you do a, a three to five hundred thousand dollar transaction and you're trying to make ten thousand dollars on it. Like, that's insane, you know, and in the longer run, they were smart cutting it right now. That's the real bottom line. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off. Nine in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Look at him, folks.